We are given a triangle ABC. Let's assume that the three sides of the triangle are small a, small b and small c respectively. Let's also assume that the length of the perpendicular drawn from the vertices a, b and c onto the opposite sides are h1, h2 and h3 respectively. Now the area of triangle ABC, let's denote it by delta, is equal to half of the base times the perpendicular, which is equal to half of A times H1, which is also equal to half of B times H2, and is also equal to half of C times H3. Therefore, the side A is equal to 2 delta upon H1, the side B is equal to 2 delta upon H2, and the side C is equal to 2 delta upon H3. Now we are given that sin A, sin B and sin C are in arithmetic progression. Applying sin rule in triangle ABC, we have A upon sin A is equal to B upon sin B is equal to C upon sin C. And let's assume that all of these are equal to K. Therefore, sin A is equal to A upon K sin b is equal to b upon k and sin c is equal to c upon k and we are given that these three terms are in arithmetic progression. Therefore a upon k, b upon k and c upon k are in arithmetic progression. Substituting the values of a, b and c derived above we get 1 upon k times 2 delta upon h1, 1 upon k times 2 delta upon h2 and 1 upon k times 2 delta upon h3 are also in arithmetic progression. Now 2 delta upon k is common across the three terms and it therefore follows that 1 upon h1, 1 upon h2 and 1 upon h3 are also in arithmetic progression which means that h1, h2 and h3 are in harmonic progression, which is the desired result.